three, two, one, and lift off. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. Five and Starliner are now supersonic. Vehicle now throttling up. Up next, up next in about 20 seconds, Starliner's two solid rocket boosters will run out of fuel and burn out. Atlas V now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. have indication of SRB jettison. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff. Centaur is holding attitude for Starliner separation. And we have confirmation of Starliner separation. here are uh, talking through uh, there is an opportunity to uh, execute the uh, final approach initiation much earlier than anticipated to beat a seven minute handover or a, a handover in seven minutes uh, we can expect the the teams they're talking about it now to go ahead and execute that maneuver starliner inside 10 meters image we were seen coming from the one of the external cameras on the ISS just shifted the views. Now watching uh, Starliner make its uh, make its final approach. Docking ring extended. Seven meters away from the forward port. Estimated contact a little bit more than two minutes. Crossing two minutes to contact right now. Starliner continuing to close in on the International Space Station at a distance of 5.3 meters. Closing in at 0 0.05 meters per second. Alternating views between the International Space Station and the Starliner sensors themselves as they close in on the forward port of the Harmony module. Starliner looking to connect to the International Docking Adapter there at the uh, 
forward end of Harmony. Docking ring extended, you can see some of the separation coming in with that inner ring. Those three pedals will inside four meters. Press the dock. One minute to contact. Inside three meters. Quiet in the control room. Starliner continuing to close in. Soft capture confirmed. like the hatch is open to the Starliner. We're getting uh, Bob Hines as the first uh, astronaut to enter Starliner in orbit, successfully opening up the hatch, this view coming from the Starliner itself. That hatch opening time was 11.04 a.m. Central Time. And we're getting a new view now. Uh, as you mentioned, Rebecca, four cameras inside uh, the Starliner spacecraft. We're now getting a view of uh, Cho Lindgren, Bob Hines, and Rosie the Rocketeer, uh, all in the same shot. Uh, you can even see the zero-g indicator there in the back. 